Hello and welcome back to the last spell. Um, let's see. I, things are going well, but they could change. Things could. I'm honestly very concerned for the last day. I think things will go well. I I am confident that Carmen will be able to melt the boss basically on her own. Um, that's kind of what she's good at is just like shooting one thing. Um, and we'll be able to have like a fully constructed set of walls so that'll be good um but uh yeah i'm just I'm just trying to like go through a checklist in my mind i think that we're all good uh carmen's where she needs to be everyone's good and yeah let's do it let's see how it go to the walls the misting hour uh oh that lancer getting right up to our lad right away is not a good thing to not not a good way to start the night Ooh, this is a little bit spicy over here i won't lie yeah it sucks that the lancer is the first thing that got to him because they're like the only thing that can hurt like really badly um did i have i have jelenka is the only one over here where is the other one i guess i set up two over here okay well we'll figure this out um they have armor they have quite a bit of armor and um uh, some resistance do we have any way of nerfing that i don't think so but luckily the ballista did like take care of some of that I could I could hit them with a weakening touch, but it seems like a waste to to throw down a weakening touch just for like this one guy. I don't know of any way to like slow them down. Um All right, let's like back up a little bit. This is honestly a perfect setup for Carmen over here. Why don't we do why don't we start with a stun? I figured that might not uh, work on him. We could just like, oh, miss. Okay, actually, that was really good. I didn't think that they were gonna take them out that hard, so that was that was good. I am, uh, I'm thinking. Oh, there's a there's a big lad. There's a big lad. That's not good. All right, we're gonna move over. Um, I don't think I'll be able to reach them with anyone. Actually, maybe I should undo that. No. Our movement kind of sucks right now. Um, we're going to have to figure that out. Um, oh, there's an, also another Lancer. Not a huge fan of that. We're going to hit them with a fireball. I'm pretty sure this goes straight through their armor. Yeah, that's one of the most effective ways to take them out. And it's certainly one of the best ways for um, Dan to take them out. Paloma doesn't have this problem. Paloma can pretty much melt these guys on his own it's one of the few things he's good at because he's he's got got that armor penetrating um damage so i'm gonna move up a little bit because he doesn't really have very good um range actually his range has been increased so this is four it's done me the service of showing me how how far away four is because his deal now is that he needs to kill a certain number of enemies um like four away didn't even have to do three for him i i i did i went a little bit overboard there because i uh wanted to make sure that he died these blockers are kind of a big problem so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna move forward a little bit um i want to set up some kills for carmen so i'm gonna kill this guy um man this sucks i'm not a huge fan of this setup right now can we go over here maybe hit them from a different angle there's another lancer dude here so we might as well like take him out and do another kill honestly i just kind of want to like take out the blockers even though it doesn't get Carmen any kills, even though it doesn't build her uh, her up at all. Look, we're already increasing our... Um, actually, I don't know if we're increasing our range yet, but it's fine. 
Can we move forward? We'll move forward up a little bit because then we can get this guy and this guy. Paloma will be able to help a little bit with uh, with stuff over here. Assuming the trend will continue where they're they're kind of on this side. Um, Carmen, Carmen is actually not close enough over here, but she's got tons of movement. 15 movement. So she can move up quite a bit. She needs to move forward two more. Um, and then she's going to kill this guy and this guy. And honestly, that was barely worth it. She's going to move back because I definitely foresee her being useful over here. Um, so I... I allowed Jelenka to keep her hammer. Which was an interesting and potentially bold move from my end. Um, why don't we do... I want to do like a ground smash. Um, let's see. We still have three movement left. Let's do a ground smash because it has the potential to uh, lower the resistance. It did not lower the resistance. I thought it lowered the resistance. Why did I think that? Okay, it doesn't matter. We're going to try and stun. Okay, that's th that's good. Now we're going to contaminate this guy and follow up on them. And that way we spread that stun. Um, would love to do more stuff, but it's, it's, oh, this guy's blocking the other guy. These Lancers are, uh, are going to be a problem. I actually think Carmen's probably going to be more helpful over here than, uh, than over here, but we'll see. She might have to play a little bit of, uh, running back and forward. She's got the movement for it. Um, I would love to hit this Lancer guy, but it's not, I don't think it's going to happen. I'm going to move over just so that, uh, there's a less, less of a chance that the Lancer, uh, hits Jelenka. Now I am curious to see how, um, Patience performs. Patience has got quite a lot of stuff over here, but she should be okay. We'll see. Okay, that poison didn't really do as much as I'd hoped. I won't lie. And also, it made it so that uh, they're not connected anymore. So we're going to throw down our next swarm on this guy, just because I want to see how much it does. Oh, it didn't even... It needs to break through the, the armor. I didn't realize that. Oh, it didn't. It doesn't, actually. Never mind. They are poisoned. We're good. Um, I'm going to need to entangle... A couple of these lads. I, this guy's movement isn't super great. I'm more worried about the elite Lancer, to be honest. Um, so let's entangle him. Hopefully that helps a little bit. Doesn't really. Um, I'm going to have to throw down some daggers. So we'll do like one, two. I might just like throw down all of them on him. I feel like that was the, the right move. Uh, there's also a, another Lancer here, I, I've just realized, so I might want to throw down a swarm there. How did he not get poisoned? We're on a rampage. I am feeling less optimistic over here, I won't lie. Um, who else has stuff to do? Dan has stuff to do, but he can't really do it. I guess if we were so inclined, we could start smashing these little parts like they're they're kind of annoying but i don't think that that's really going to help we could spread some contagion may as well it's free right um paloma still has some stuff she can do and she should do it because there's another lancer here too it's kind of ironic um it's the one thing that paloma like melts really nicely is is uh people with armor May as well throw, throw some, down some poison. Um, not sure what. I wish uh, when I when I use this resupply, it would show me how how much their supply is without having to hover over. Um, so Carmen, I mean Carmen, I could do some stuff with Carmen, but I I really don't want to like already kill her isolation bonus. So I'm just gonna let her be for now. 
So, okay, this is going to be bad. Uh, those do not go through the Lancer's armor. Oh, no. Patience is stunned. Ugh. Okay, well, we're definitely going to want to move um, Carmen back over. Because as bad as things are over here, they're, they're kind of worse over here. Uh, I am not feeling good about certain things. Okay, let's go ahead and split some of these guys apart. I don't think I can sp split the bulky dude apart. Maybe I can, but we'll, we'll see. Two. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, we can, we can do this. We can split the bulky guys apart. Because I need, I, I want, I want Carmen to be able to get her full bonus. Okay, cool. Um, Carmen, can you reach anyone from here? No, not yet. So you're going to have to move forward even more. Um... Uh, I guess I didn't do a good job of, like, splitting people apart for her to raise her bonus. So let's do that a little bit. And I'm going to have to do that guy. We'll, we'll, we'll kill them with... Po oh, we can't. We didn't kill them with poison. Okay. Uh, that sucks. All right. It's fine. It's fine. We have some movement left. Let's just kill that guy for now, and then we'll see if we can't um, kill some of these bulkies with some heavy bolts. I figured it would probably take two. It did. I didn't think it was going to take three. I guess I should have done my track first. It's fine. We'll kill them with that last one. So we'll use our... Um, I'd rather than apply the track, I'd rather just like hit them hard, because then they'll it'll wound them. We could have done Potion of Energy. We still could if we wanted to. Why not? Is there anyone else we can kill? I don't think so. So let's just undo that movement and we'll use our last um, action to apply track because it does actually, it works for future turns. Uh, okay, now over here, we're going to use a Potion of Strength. And I'm going to do... Okay, first of all, let's do a stun. Right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to apply Contagion to two of these stuns. And I'm going to try and uh, spread that as much as I can. Didn't really work as much as I'd hoped, to be honest. Well, we almost killed the, the, the Lancer just from basic attack. So actually, I think things are okay over here. I am not happy with where Patience is. Although this Lancer is going to die and the bulky person is taking some nice poison damage and they're not going to reach her. So as long as they don't stun her again, then I'll be, I'll, I'll be okay with how that's going. Um... Now, over here, we have some stuff going on that I'm not super happy about. How much resistance do these guys have? Not much. In fact, are they lowered right now? Is there... Oh, their dodge is... No, they... I can't tell what that extra mark means. I think that they're not... I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's really hard to tell. Uh, we also have another elite blocker over here. So we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and throw down a resistance. Um debuff and i'll also resist just the bulky dude as well why not and then we're gonna hit them that uh i think that melted their armor which is nice we unfortunately can't get to them with our melee user i i need to kill this guy over here i really didn't do much to, to hurt him um how long does this last two turns so why don't we put that up and then we're gonna try and melt this guy nice that actually worked out really well um we have four movement left so we can we can melt some some guys 
Okay, we're gonna use our last one to maybe stun. Oh wait, I oh, I never mind. Never mind. Miss again, huh? Okay. I realize we spread contagion to two people that don't have a, a debuff on them, so it doesn't really, you know, it didn't really do much. I understand this, um, but you know, I, I, that's my bad. <laughs> I, I shouldn't have done that. That's really, really all I can say. Um, everyone's gone except for patients who didn't get a turn. I'm really hoping she gets a turn. Path to victory. Those traps are doing some nice work. Ballistas, as they do, are, are doing really nice work. Uh, well, actually, that's fine. Um, he seemed to only take armor damage, which is good. Um, let's do a weakening touch. I'm kind of hoping it doesn't propagate to our friend. It probably will, though. It did. Right? Yeah, it did. It spread to Natalie. Oh, and it was such a... I didn't realize she could move over. It would have been so easy to not do that. Um, Her buff is making up for that mistake, but good lord. What a, what a terrible mistake to make. Um, okay, can we... We didn't really do much to that blocker. It's fine. Uh, we have three turns left. We could do some stuff to this bulky dude. I said not three turns left. Um, sorry, three actions left. We could either do 233 to 363, or we could do close to 300 of penetrating damage. Oh, there's another bulky dude as well. Nice. Um, may as well spread the contagion. Do some more damage. Uh, at least we're doing, like, we're melting their armor pretty good. He has no one, no friends nearby, so I should be able to get some nice damage in with Carmen. Except there is a blocker blocking Car uh, Carmen from, from doing anything. Two of them, in fact. So why don't we get rid of a couple of these lads? Uh, and I'm just gonna, like, set up some more stuff for, for Carmen to do. Alright. She's got the tracking bonus, right? Yes. So, honestly, one, one hard shot should do it. Nice. Perfect. And we'll raise up her isolation bonus a little bit with some of these. Oh, that's so satisfying. All right, she's actually done, unless I want to drink another potion of energy. Which I don't necessarily want to do. She may as well stay where she is. And I noticed there's another Lancer dude, so we'll have uh, we'll have our, our Paloma take care of them. Actually, there's two of them. So why don't we take care of both of these? Paloma can actually help over here as well. She could she could come over and take care of a couple of uh, Lancers. You know, she's really good at that. And actually, as her um, range grows, it'll be easier for her to do stuff like this. Uh, I don't know why I only put two uh, dedicated two. We can we can do a poison shot, and that'll take care of the rest of them. Um, why don't we do a blaze shot as well? Take, they'll take care of quite a few of these. Oh, two. And and we increase their range. Nice. Um, yeah, feeling pretty good. Now we just need to... Jelenka, let's continue the trend of people doing well. Um, I don't... I'm a little bit concerned about this uh, Lancer here. We still have her increased damage, so we should be able to just kill her. Or uh, kill, kill this guy. Um, they don't have any debuff on them. I was thinking if we could like do um we could stun them right and then do a follow-up this is 
Oops, I keep I keep thinking that I can like do it right in front. Uh, if we could have stunned this lad, it would have been really good. Let's just do a follow-up. Okay, well, unfortunately, that did not work as you'd hope. The the lance, you know what? I'll just let the ballista take care of them. There's a are these there's these two more lancers? Yes, they are. Shoot. Okay, um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a little bit concerned for uh, Jelenka's well-being up there. Now, patience, I'm also concerned for patience, but I think she'll be okay. We'll see. Um, what is this over here? Elite Klar. I kind of let's um let's spread some poison because she didn't she missed an entire turn, so she's gonna need to spread a bunch of poison. That was really good, and then maybe we can spread one more. You know, a little bit louder for the people in the back. There we go. And, um... Kind of want to do an extra, like, bee string sting scroll, but I'm going to dedicate another whole dagger set to this bulky. Didn't quite do it. Does she have the... She doesn't have the poison set, right? Um... Uh, a little bit worried about what's happening here. Acid spray? We could do acid spray. Yeah, let's do that. And the reason why is that it'll remove that elite Klar's armor. And their dodge bonus. And hopefully... I just realized we can't walk past the, the ballistas. The ballistas are like 100% locking us in. Um, let's just like use a beast sting scroll to get rid of this guy. Oh, cool. It actually propagated diagonally. I still don't know how that works. But the good news is that um, a lot of this will die in the next turn. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about this elite, elite claw, but I'm hoping... Yeah, I'm hoping that there enough will be taken care of that maybe the ballistas will do some work on them. Yes. Okay, that's what I was hoping for. Okay, we took a little bit of damage. This guy is almost dead, so we can just like, I think... I think one normal centipede attack will do it. Yes, cool. Uh, and then we can just like do a couple of poison attacks. I, I see this guy over here. Don't worry. Um, we'll, we'll take care of that later. And I kind of want to, I just want to do as much as I can, you know, let's do one in the back. I was kind of hoping for more. Um, how, what's the range on this? Not terrible. I'm wondering if we should start throwing some poison daggers at that bulky. Yeah, they'll take a little bit of damage and uh, we'll get things started. Hopefully this Lancer will die to Ballista. Um... What do we do over here? I think that Carmen needs to focus on those those bulky dudes. Um, she's got 44 extra or bonus damage. Paloma can take care of that one dude in the back, but I guess he's gonna have to, uh, she's gonna have to like kill a couple of other people first. Um. Let's like move move her over a little bit. I want to set up some um, shots for for Carmen. Well, it sucks that that I had to go and kill that last dude for no good reason. Um, I do want to kill that Lancer. That Lancer is a problem. I, but I guess the reason I'm doing this is because I the this dude is like blocking my way. 
So let's go ahead and set up some stuff for Carmen while also removing this dude so I can get through here and we can kill this guy in the back because that's gonna um, remove uh, make it so Carmen removes her buff from from killing does she still have her isolation bonus I guess she does that thing lasts a lot long a long time and we want to melt this guy nice could probably just kill him with a, a normal shot we didn't but that's fine um let's move over and try and kill oh this stupid lamppost is gonna block the other dude so i can't actually kill that other one it's okay we'll just uh raise our our buff a little bit more Paloma actually does pretty good work against this guy too. Um, may as well use a normal shot because it does the most damage against him. He could probably she she could probably take this guy on solo. Carmen, let's go ahead and get you to kill a couple more lads. Um, might have her come back. Let's have her come swing back around over here. Because I'm a little bit worried for Jelenka. Jelenka is ill-equipped for dealing with stuff like this. Um, okay, we'll try that. And then what we're going to do is... I'm going to take a strength potion. Actually, do we need to? Yes, we do. Um, and then we're going to follow up on this... Wait, what? what was that? That looked good. whatever okay i don't know um let's do a f we can't do a follow-up on that guy because there's a blocker right in my way here why don't we just do a um a mega stomp i like the mega stomp ah uh, that's the one that spreads resistance uh the, the resistance debuff you'd think that she would get more of a buff from that i guess she does There we go. Um, yeah, things are, are not looking good. That's okay. Uh, I think that Carmen should be able to do some work in the next turn for, for this zone. Patience. Uh, patience is already gone. I don't know why I'm looking at patience. Dan hasn't gone. Um, let's, let's set some stuff up here. I, I actually just think a classic lightning storm is going to be a really nice way to do things here. And uh, maybe a fireball over here. I know it's, it's a kind of a waste just on one dude, but you know, it's, it goes through the armor. So that's why I do it. And I guess we'll spread some more um, contagion. I'm a little bit worried about this this lancer over here. I don't like it. Uh, who else has got stuff to do? Paloma still. Paloma still has stuff they can do. Why don't we spread poison? Um, wow, she can't reach. This, this is the only person she can't reach. Okay, well, she, she'll spread poison and hit the contagion person. Oh wait, that doesn't do damage. My bad. I'm, I'm I'm making all kinds of really stupid mistakes right now. Um, Natalie, Natalie will be able to do what I want, because what I want is to spread that poison with the contagion. There we go. Natalie also spreads poison like naturally. All right, everyone's gone. Let's end it. Nice. At the very least, the ballistas stop people from hitting the walls. Oh, no. She, oh, she's stunned. Jelenka's stunned. Oh, he's stunned too. Oh, god damn. Okay, we, we're taking wall damage. 
I wait. I, what I, you know, what I need is I need something that I need like people to hold potions and have, be two at a team so that they can't get stunned like this, because this is becoming a problem. Do we still have? No, we don't have a, a buff. So why don't we go ahead and use this? Make sure we kill some lads over here. Miss. They get opportunism um, from spreading the poison, even if the poison is from like killing someone with contagion, which is quite nice. Um, I am going to throw down contagion on a couple of lads, but there's really not much I can do over here. They're, they're out of things to do. Um, Dan should be able to kill this lad down here. I stunned. Okay, things are, are good here. Paloma got stunned, but that's fine. Um, honestly, can we do like a nice old lightning bolt here? Cool. Might have people start running up over here on the next turn because uh, I'm a little bit concerned. We can definitely melt these um, Lancers because they're not actually next to each other. Di they're diagonal and that doesn't that does not kill her um, her bonus. So she's ex she's at 60 max now. I need to kill this other Lancer. Um, I could take a chance now and, uh, well, you know what we could do? We could do an explosive bolt. It'll absolutely nuke her, her, um, damage, but it's plus 60% damage on these bulkies. I think that it's, it's kind of worth doing now. Um, why not? Let's do it. That's why not, because it nukes her damage and then it didn't actually kill them. Um, that's unfortunate. And I can't really, like, I could do more, but I'm just going to be doing less and less damage. Let's just do it. Let's do patience next. These guys have a ton of armor. So why don't we just go ahead and, um, oh, there's another bulky dude. I want to spread as much, uh, like do an acid spray and it'll kill their armor. And then we're going to do a couple of, um, I guess maybe the, the, does poison actually wait, what? Why didn't it propagate? I know it killed the guy, but I didn't think it would like, like not propagate at all. That sucked. All right, let's do on. Let's do this. Yeah, that worked out really well, actually. And let's just do like one more just for safe measure. Yeah, and even poison the bulky in the back. We should be good there. Well, the nice thing is that they're the nuke uh, the the bulky's armors are, are nuked so we don't have to worry about that um they did blast through jalenka's armor and they killed i think one wall but that's not a big deal um so i think we could just do a couple of bee stings honestly i, I feel like we should conserve our mana at this point Yeah, why, why not just like kill him um, without using mana? I hate that these guys are, are, are together like this. They're they're really using the, the, the buddy system to great effect, you know? Uh, let's do Contagion and I'm going to do follow up. This guy is his resistance. His damage is lowered. So I think follow up will actually have um, increased damage with opportunism. I'm going to have to back up slightly. Um, and we'll do a ground smash. And that's the best I can do, um, unfortunately. Okay, actually, uh, let's move up here. Because Carmen being this close to that guy is making it so that she doesn't get a lot of her damage buffs. 
Um, there's no point in buffing her her isolation because she's not going to get the isolation. But she will now, so we may as well give it to her now. Okay, cool. Um, a little bit dicey, but it, it, I think that that went well for the most part. Okay, so it's, it's just this bulky in the top right and he's dead now. Cool. All right, we're good. I'm hoping we still get S here. Oh, only A? What the heck, really? Paloma's level 12. That's kind of insane. Carmen's level 9. I'm looking forward to whatever Carmen gets. I can't believe we only got an A from that. How did we lose points? I'm a little bit curious how that works. I, I honestly, like, I, I know I did not perform perfectly, but I, I think that was worthy of, a, of an S. Um, I definitely want to get as much material as possible. Uh, but I wouldn't mind getting a couple of items. So let's do three of these. Well, we'll do two of those uh, with materials and we're going to get a couple of items. And then we're going to do the seer. It takes four workers. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. We've pushed back the mist as much as it'll go. Um, mana is something I'm a little bit concerned about. Uh, patience is the only one actually that has a huge gouge in her mana. So let's just make sure that benediction is upgraded in on both of these and then like focus on giving patience as much mana as she needs. Um, I guess that cost a worker, but I think it's worth it. Uh, I'm not gonna do another worker. I think that she'll she has enough m mana now. Um, everyone's pretty okay for health. Um, we could dedicate one worker to make you know top and everyone up. Is it worth it? Sure. You never know. I might make the difference. Let's do two workers right away um, towards materials. We'll do two workers for money. So we have two workers left to play with. Um, God, things are going to be so nasty here. I definitely think that Carmen's going to be best suited like right here. I'm just going to go ahead and throw her down there. Uh, she'll be able to hit people over here. Maybe pit hit people over here. But more importantly, she's going to be able to hit the the monster um she might actually be better off like here because this might be she might have more opportunities here and uh she needs to build up that isolation damage as much as she can so that she can nuke the boss um there's gonna i'm, I'm gonna be doing a lot here because i i definitely want to make get take advantage as much as, as possible uh, more accuracy for Carmen might not be a terrible idea. Kind of want to reroll these, but only because I'm greedy, not because they're bad. Um, yeah, let's take accuracy. I know damage, but I don't think damage is the problem. Like, the uh, potential to miss at all is just hugely detrimental. I don't think any of these are good for her momentum maybe i don't think that she has any momentum skills inaccurate isolation would be so much better physical damage none of these are good so she got kind of robbed on her secondary now we had a great one set up here every three isolated units killed restore one action point is going to be amazing for her um Oh, oh, but there is plus 39% isolation damage. <gasps> we could just give her plus 39%. Is it, do you think an extra action every three actions is going to be worth it? Or do you think that like an extra 39% isolation is going to do it? That's really tempting. That's actually really hard. 
it, that's a, some, that's really really decent isolation plus 39 percent just on top of whatever like that's double her buff uh i think we just take yeah i think we take that because if i think about it um just just consider this one extra action every three actions it doesn't really like if you even like um try and do the math on on how much of an extra damage bonus that's worth i think the plus 39 percent is better and it's th plus 39 percent every single time you attack versus the one extra attack you do it's i don't know it's 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 a difficult one to parse but um extra accuracy is tempting for paloma i think we'll take accuracy momentum opportunism is obviously kind of tempting she does spread some poison damage but i don't know if it's worth jumping on that now uh, it is 15 percent. sure we'll let her do extra poison damage with the the one poison damage thing she does um perk points max she's maxed out she can't take any more perks wow i didn't realize that was a thing Okay, but patience uh, is going to be able to do some stuff. Every three isolated units killed. No, nah, we don't. That's not good for her. Any buff applied by the hero has an increased duration. Meh. Whenever the fifth turn of the night is reached, uh, plus two per two action points plus. I don't think that that's actually though. I I, I think that um. Reset every. Does this mean like after the fifth turn she gets like plus two action points every turn? Honestly, I think just like extra mana would be good for her. Every two mana spent plus three block. I actually think that that would be amazing for her. Let's yeah, let's do that because she she's probably the biggest mana hog in the uh, like of uh, anyone. We'll level her up. Um, would love to give her extra uh, poison damage. Just extra damage is fine. I just don't think that it's going to be as valuable as the poison damage she's doing. I'd like to re-roll these. If they don't say poison damage, there we go. There's that. There it is. Beautiful. I'm so... I'm actually really happy that we got that. All right. We got a bunch of items to sift through. Um, propagation damage. Might be good for patience. I don't know what she has right now. Oh, but what about this? Plus 11% physical, but plus 25% poison damage what does she have right now she's already got 30 percent our uh poison damage so yeah never mind uh, uh propagation damage she doesn't have a helmet okay so plus four percent propagation damage it's not great but it's something she doesn't have anything right now we have a new crossbow would that be good for carmen uh it is better the other one offers more mana but she doesn't really use a lot of mana she in fact doesn't use any mana so i and this one has more accuracy i think this one's just very good and also that accuracy as i i, I believe will um combo with the perk i just gave her right because she's going to be getting more isolation yeah she's up to plus 54 percent isolation damage now dog holy crap holy shoot that's just that's just insane all right i'm getting some good items here that's why i upgraded this um extra opportunism someone can make use of this i'm not sure who maybe jelenka does jelenka doesn't even have a helmet so yeah, let's get her that. Where are my epics at? This is this is garbage, dog. Um, it's not garbage. It's actually really good stuff. Yeah, sure. Give her an extra. Give her a better sledgehammer. Ooh, heavy crystal trinket. Extra damage, mana, less move points. Not a huge fan of that. Mage cape. Uh, obviously, this would be nice. Less propagation bounces kind of sucks. But extra poison damage. I could give that to Jelenka or um, Natalie. 
I think one of them has really good, um, they, they spread that poison pretty good. So let's do that. And then one more. Uh, it's kind of, kind of ho-hum, whatever. We have a power staff. We do have a power staff, though. Maybe. Uh, pff, eh. Someone is using someone. Yeah, you know what? We're going to take this rusty shield because I'm pretty sure someone's been using a hammer uh, like a normal hammer, but didn't doesn't have an offhand item. Yeah, it's uh, Natalie. So her having a decent shield is actually pretty nice. Um, she's already got this. I, this is not good. Well, gives her armor. This thing gives her mana. Um, she, this is the one. Yeah, she, she spreads her poison. I'm going to, I'm going to give it to her. Less, slightly less armor. This isolation and extra armor could be useful for someone else. Um, Jalenka, I guess we'll give, what is her dodge at anyway? 40% actually, this is not bad for her. I wonder if she gets any perk with dodge. Did I give her anything like that? No. Um, I think what she's got is fine. Now, does anyone need a trinket? Yes. Dan doesn't have a trinket. Dan could use a trinket. Actually, you know what? What about Paloma? Paloma's got a trinket. The only one that doesn't have a trinket is Dan. So Dan, you get a trinket. It gives you 34 armor. Enjoy it. Um, so I have two workers left. I would love to just do materials, to be honest. But I could also see myself just like buying some more gear, more armor wouldn't be a terrible idea. Could upgrade it so that it require upgrades passive production. Uh, that, too late for that. Sure, let's upgrade it and then we'll get a, another armor piece. Better pants, armor, accuracy, damage. Ooh, you know what? This could be good for, um, who is it? Who is it that's got that accuracy bonus? Carmen, that's right. Carmen's got really good pants. It gives her reliability, move points, action points. Actually, uh, it's kind of hard to say no to a lot of that. Extra move and action points, you can't really top that. You can't beat that, I'm afraid. So, yeah, that's it's unfortunate that we... All right, let's um, take our last uh, worker. I'm going to keep them until I, I've decided that I'm going to move on because I, I don't like, you know, you can't really come back from spending all your workers. It's just unfortunate. I think there should be an undo button in this game. Uh, I'm just going to recover all of our um, traps. So the fact that we can't move around ballistas makes it means these walls are just like completely pointless they have or uh, sorry doors not walls these are 300 durability versus what 450 so it's just not worth having a door if there are ballistas there so we may as well destroy these doors i know that seems like a waste but you gotta understand um, I'm, I'm like, this is the final stretch and I, I want to make good decisions, you know? Um, this door, I'll, I'll keep this door for now if I run out of materials. I am running out of materials pretty quickly, I won't lie. Um, we definitely need to do this side over here. I'm gonna I'm gonna run out. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to reserve the rest for um for traps. Um. Yeah, I think uh, I think I should just like throw another worker at materials. I don't think that there's any reason why not. Do you need some loot at the you know? Just as I'm spending the last of my materials. I guess it only costs 10 to upgrade stone walls. 
So I may as well upgrade the stone walls that I have, and then I'll just do traps with what's left. It's far more expensive to um, destroy a, a, a door and replace it. Okay, I mean, uh, I think their defenses could be better, but are they awful? I don't... Eh, kind of. <laughs> uh, we definitely want some traps over here. Let's, let's throw down some traps over here. That's pretty much everything. I already repaired all of our traps. Um... So all that's left is to set up our... Oh, no, you know what? There's more more to do still. We're going to um, see what we can buy. I'm going to sell all what we have. There's a nice um, shield. More propagation bounces. Um, I don't think that's worth it. Because the only person who can use that is... Uh, I can't remember who. Talenka? Jelenka? Um, cloth body armor. I don't know. I don't think anyone can use this. Extra armor, accuracy. Oh, 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 she can use this. She, it'll give her move, reliability, more accuracy, more armor. This is perfect for her. If it gave her isolation, that's the only thing that would make it better. But um, she's going to be gaining a, a bit of that isolation back, and she's going to be gaining more movement points. I definitely foresee Carmen needing to move around a bit. Uh, potion of stability. I'm going to need a couple of those actually. Cause the thing is, is that, um, I don't like that people get stunned and I need, I need people to be able to unstun themselves. I'm pretty sure this will, um, yeah, it'll, it uh, removes any debuff pretty much. So if the person who's holding this potion, um, gets stunned, well then that sucks. But, um, the, the chances of that happening aren't, you know, our, our chances of recovering from being stunned are better with it. Now, there's an extra propagation bounce. What if we gave that to, like, patients? What does she have right now? She's got extra propagation damage. Extra propagation bounce wouldn't be a terrible idea for her. So let's grab that for her. Um, ooh, this for um, Paloma might be good what does she currently have oh no never mind what she's got right now is perfect she, you can't top two two plus one multi-hit that's just amazing um i might gonna i might want to re-roll these pretty soon i i could buy a potion of health potion of speed interesting sure re-roll these dodge reliability propagation bounces can we give that to i already bought something for um patients but what if this is better? I don't think it is. A better, a new axe. Um, I, I, I couldn't really make the axe worth work. I'm wondering, honestly, if Natalie... What if Natalie is better off since she's got this poison business going on? What's her poison damage at? 200%. Maybe we just give her a druid staff. She's got... Okay, so she's got plus 11% stun. And I mean, that's cool and all, but she might just be better off having a druid staff and spreading poison that way. I might, you know, like, why not? And then we could give her propagation bounces. It sucks that she didn't level up. We could have given her po uh, potent toxins. But yeah, I actually kind of like this idea. Let's give her... Um, let's buy that armor. This one specifically, because um, this has got propagation bounces. And let's buy a druid staff for her. This might be a terrible idea. But we're going to try it. Potion of Energy. Um, someone can use that for sure. Fireball scroll could be good. Oh, yeah. And we need another Potion of Stability. Okay, so let's um, let's turn Natalie into a, a Poison Queen. 
it sucks that we, we just got her that rusty shield and now she's already losing it. Wait, what? She can't wear this? Oh, this is a helmet? Oh, weird. I guess this is a helmet too. Oh, that's so bizarre. I, I looked at this and I saw a frock. I didn't see like a helmet. Um, pretty sure I bought this. Uh, who did I buy? With Carmen in mind, maybe? Yeah. I definitely bought it with Carmen in mind, but, uh, uh yeah, this, this armor isn't necessarily very good for anyone else. Um, Paloma having extra, well, maybe we could give Paloma a potion of stability just to make sure she's got it. She might want the, the potion of speed as well, actually. Um, patience, patience, you get a new hat. Apparently, <laughs> I thought I bought you better armor, but instead I bought you a new hat. Okay, let's continue um, buying equipment. Um, move block. Nah, don't. I'm not a huge fan of those. Um, One-handed axe. Wouldn't mind trying this at some point. Oh, I guess I have tried that before. Healing received extra move. Eh. I know we're spending a lot of money now to re-roll. Ooh, sledgehammer. Actually, like, really decent one, except it it's, it gives isolation. So, like, let's, let's just compare the damage for a moment. It is actually sizable better, sizably better damage, so I, I should. Extra propagation bounces. We could get that for Natalie. What does she got right now? She does have... Oh, that this, it sucks that that mage cape offers less propagation bounces. It actually, like, kind of works against her build right now. We could take um, a loss of twenty-five percent poison damage in order to give her more, spread her poison a bit farther. Uh, I don't know. That that one's a, that's a tough one. I like this shield specifically for um paloma gives them more gives her more multi-hit i don't know why i keep thinking palomas oh I, i'm actually out of money we're out of money <laughs> um i could afford it i guess if i like sell a bunch of stuff we could sell a, a few things um sell this steel hammer and this rusty shield and then we can buy what was I looking at? Oh, there's a better Druidic staff. It's only marginally better though. What was I looking at? Was it the shield? I guess it was the shield. The reason I'm looking at the shield for Paloma, I know Paloma has an extra crossbow. Um, and that is nice. Eh, yeah, actually, probably we should just let her keep that because that's one extra free attack per round with an extra multi-hit what's the point in like losing that for the for an extra multi-hit it's it's not very good it would give her some other stuff as well but i don't know if any of that other stuff is actually very useful so i guess i'm back to looking at this druidic staff with an extra like 10 damage yeah I say let's just re-roll one more time. I mean, I could buy this potion of energy. Yeah, you know what? Let's just buy a potion of energy and a potion of stability. And I'll buy this explosive bolt for someone. Someone can use that for sure. Okay, so Jelenka, you get a much better hammer. You're welcome. Um, we could give you, actually, post you have a potion of strength. Why don't you take a potion of energy as well? Um, Carmen, I think you've got everything you need. I think you've got everything you need. Um, Paloma, you've got everything you need. You could maybe take this explosive bolt scroll. Sure, I'll give you the explosive bolt scroll. You do that. You do with that what you need. Dan having more energy wouldn't be a terrible idea and we'll give him a potion of stability um, patience 
I actually think that um, I don't know. I don't know what to do with patience. Patience, I think you've got everything you need. Natalie. Natalie, I, a long time ago, I gave her um, an extra bag slot. So we, if, if I don't give her something, then it's very much worthless. Um, so I guess everyone is equipped at this point. I could sell a couple of extra things. Just to you know see i don't know maybe there's something else we can buy i don't think that there is though i don't know we could go through everyone and see if ev everyone's got like a good set of armor oh wow okay so <sighs> paloma is still using like kind of worthless armor maybe i should give her this i should buy back this inquisitor coat and give her that and also dan is not really using anything that great i really have shortchanged a couple of these characters patience has something anything yeah even oh, wow okay well all right let's um let's give natalie Natalie needs movement, so I'm not going to give her that. I'm not going to give her the Inquisitor code. I don't know. Maybe I should. Anyway. Sure, we'll give her that. And then I'm just going to... I'm just going to call it there. Okay, so the only thing left to do is position everyone. Um, I'm going to put Paloma, like, here-ish. Because um, he's going to be setting stuff up for um, Carmen again. It just works really well. Um, patience. We could have her over here. And she could do some stuff here. And even possibly here. Um, Natalie. I think we want her here. Um, Jelenka has got to be in the front lines as well and then dan is going to be in this corner um potentially helping both this side and this side doing some um resistance and i th honestly think that carmen on her own is going to take on the boss that is such a stupid idea isn't it is that not just like the dumbest idea it's <sighs> She's the, she is the best candidate as soon as she has her isolation bonus up I don't think that the boss themselves does much damage um, Outside of the fact that like they do an aoe right and the aoe is big whatever um, So yeah, the aoe kind of sucks, but as soon as it's done I don't think the boss themselves really does much damage unless you're standing like right up to it Maybe it does some extra stuff. Maybe it does like a debuff. I can't remember but um, I don't think it'll suck too much. And like I say, as soon as, uh, Carmen has, has her damage up, she'll be able to like absolutely melt the boss. Um, the only thing is I, I worry that she's not going to have, I, I should just, just destroy a couple of this stuff. She's not going to have the ability to hit everything. Um, with her best attack Because I know that some one of like at least one time The uh, some like one of the bosses spawned here, so she might not be able to reach it every time with her like Heavy bolt, but is that the end of the world? I don't think so and I think she will probably be fine um it's it, i'm a little bit worried here this is the really rough part here is if i lose this then I, yeah i have to try again and it is a long campaign to get back here um if i fail here it might actually even be the end of the series because like what am i gonna do like start again and make you watch all of that no i'm probably gonna do it in my off time which means i'm gonna be playing on my like a six to eight hour campaign in my off time and then record the boss fight again. I kind of almost wish I could just like save and try again, but I don't know. 
it is what it is it's a it's a roguelite but um anyway i think we'll be fine i'm 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 cautiously optimistic if you're enjoying this series definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this i'll see you guys next time take it easy